This video is designed to help you fill in Section A of your 2016 Annual Information Statement. That's AIS for short. Your answers will appear on the public ACNC register unless you've applied for and we've approved specific details to be withheld. So it's important to get them right. All the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation named The Yellow Charity. They don't belong to an actual charity. Now let's begin. Once you are logged into the portal, you can access the AIS by clicking on the Submit Annual Information Statement button. Next, click on the year that you want to submit. In this case, we'll click on 2016. This will then take you to the start of the form, Section A, Charity Information. You'll notice that most of the questions have already been answered for you. They have been answered with the information provided in previous AIS submissions. However, if the pre-filled information is incorrect, you can change it. If your charity is known by any names other than those that appear in question 2, such as a trading name or acronym, you can click the Add Other Name link to add them to your record at question 3. Check that the address listed in question 4a is the formal address to which you want the ACNC to send correspondence. We will always try to contact your charity by email first and then by the other address if necessary. Question 4b is where you list the details for the person you want the ACNC to use as the primary contact for your charity. These details will not appear on the ACNC register. Question 5 asks for your charity's contact details. These are the details you want the public to use to contact your charity. It is important to note the difference between this and the details you provide at question 4a. You can of course use the same details for both if it suits. Question 6 is about the size of your charity based on its annual revenue for the 2016 reporting period. All you need to do is choose the revenue bracket your charity belongs to. For example, if your charity's annual revenue is less than $250,000, you would choose small. It's really important to get this question right as it's one of the most common mistakes charities make when completing their AIS. Just note that the page may take a moment to update each time you make a selection. Question 7 contains a series of questions that will determine whether your charity is classified as a basic religious charity. This question will only be available if your charity's subtype is only Advancing Religion. If your charity is not registered as Advancing Religion, this question will not appear. If your charity is registered as Advancing Religion in addition to other subtypes, this question will also not appear. You can see your charity's subtypes listed on the charity register. If your charity meets the definition of a basic religious charity, it does not need to answer any of the financial information questions in Section D of the AIS. And this brings us to the end of Section A. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the Save button. To move on to Section B, click the Next Page button here. For assistance with the other parts of the AIS, you can view the other videos in this series. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the AIS, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.